Hi, my name is Dr. Anthony Lamar and I'm a cardiothoracic surgeon. Today we're going to talk about removing sternal wires. Now before we get started though, let's review the anatomy of the sternum. Now, the sternum is broken up into three parts and this is our model of the sternum and model of the body here. The top parts refer to as the manubrium, the middle part is referred to as the middle of the sternum, and the bottom is the xiphoid process. Now if you've seen my previous videos, I described opening the chest or sternum and then closing the chest and sternum. When you're opening the chest, essentially what you're doing is taking a sternal saw and dividing from the manubrium down to the xiphoid process. You divide right down the middle and that will leave two halves of the sternum. At the end of the procedure, when you're completed and finished, you'll put those sternal wires, the sternum back together, the two halves of the sternum back together with sternal wires. Now it's quite rare to get sternal wires removed after open heart surgery. The most common reasons would be if the patient's having sternal pain. That often happens when there's, a, there's an area of the sternum where the, unfortunately the wires start to, start to cause some discomfort. But second reason would, would be if there's some kind of element of infection in the sternum. Unfortunately, sometimes when the infection, if there's an infection of the sternum, that can actually, unfortunately, it's, it's hard to clear that infection with the foreign object there. And that would be a reason to remove the sternal wires. And the third reason, which is the least common, is if someone loses a lot of weight after surgery, what happens is the sternal wires become more prominent. And some patients don't like the appearance of that. Once again, this is a very rare event. Most patients do not require their sternal wires to be removed. Now, if you are going to have the sternal wires removed, the patients will, then, will first get to the operating room, they'll go to sleep, and then they'll be prepared for surgery, which essentially means they're being prepped and draped. Then you'll take a scalpel and you'll make an incision right over the sternal wires. You'll free up the wires, cut them, and just remove them. Once the wires are removed, you'll make sure there's no bleeding, you'll clean the wound, and close, in, close, the, close the incision. Now, this is a very brief procedure. It takes somewhere between 15 and 20 minutes to complete, but the patient's often in the room for about 45 minutes to an hour. Afterwards, they'll be woken up and sent to the recovery room. These patients will most of the time just go home right afterwards. Now, this is just a brief description of um, someone getting sternal wires removed. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Thank you very much.